So the reason I got into all things marine and boat related was basically because I really liked boats. Um, I was quite into kind of sailing and I liked being around the sea and I liked the idea of being able to live by the sea. There aren't that many uh, industrial or design type jobs that are naturally anchored to being by the coast. But luckily when you're building ships, it's kind of really helpful uh, if you're quite close to the water. So uh, by being a naval architect, that kind of helps guarantee that you get to you know, hang out in nice places that have beaches and sailing and things like that. Hi, my name is James Day. I am the principal naval architect at White Shipyard in East Cowes. And really what that means is that I design boats. So to be a naval architect, really you need a degree either in marine engineering or naval architecture. Uh, the pre-qualification for that at A-level is probably at least three A-levels. Uh, maths definitely, um, plus physics and a couple of other subjects which can be science C but don't, doesn't really matter. Um, however, uh, if you don't have a degree, there's still the possibility to get involved with a lot of the drawing and design engineering work that we do as a draftsman and all the qualifications for that are kind of college level, uh, CAD, computer aided design and drawing qualifications. I've been working in the marine industry now for nearly 20 years and I've been doing this job for about the last five. In terms of experience to get into this role, uh, I started off working just in a design office, so not near a shipyard or anything where anything got built. We were just drawing. Um, but what's really important, I think, for anyone working in any aspect of engineering, be it marine engineering, naval architecture, whatever, is to actually spend some time somewhere where the things are getting built. Basically, most of the time, I suppose, we're based out of the office. Um, but the nice thing is, working in a design office that's attached to a shipyard, is you have plenty of excuses to go and stretch your legs, see what's going on on the shop floor, talk to the guys who are building your stuff, and um, yeah, generally get out and about a bit. So I think there's probably two really important bits of advice I'd have. The first one is, is get good at your CAD. If you like Minecraft and things like that, that is basically what we're doing all day, just marginally more complicated, but possibly not. So yeah, getting really fast with the tools, being the computer and the CAD modeling, that's like a massive skill. That, that's basically like learning how to write before you want to do novels, you know, that's, that's the starting point. And then the second thing is get loads of practical experience. Uh, if you want to get into boat related engineering, then spend some time helping out in a marina, spend some time helping out in a shipyard.